What's up party people? G Fire Productions in the place to be Superman first class in the mix. And today we're gonna talk about how to live stream your DJ sets to Facebook with the iRig 2 and your cell phone. Hello everybody and welcome back to G5 Productions. I'm Gerald, I'm excited to share once again. Today we're gonna to talk about how to live stream to Facebook with your cell phone and the iRig too. I got some equipment behind me, cables and whatnot. We're gonna discuss all that and then actually get into the setup. So I'm pumped up about it and I hope you are too. Before we get into it though, I'm gonna ask you guys to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and of course turn on the notifications so you don't miss any cool videos. Getting right into it, the things that I normally DJ with without any live streaming whatsoever is the DDJ SX2. I have a MacBook Pro and I have a short QLXD microphone system. Now normally I would use a handheld mic but for live streaming purposes I like to use my lapel microphone. I have an iPhone 6 here. This is what I live stream with. Sometimes I use the front facing camera or the rear facing camera. I have a power brick for it so I can keep the phone alive. So I have the iRig 2 here. And for cables, I have an extension cable here. This is a stereo in and it winds up stereo left and right TS and TS right here. And this cable goes with that setup. So it's really a mini jack to mini jack TRS, but to get it all quarter inch, size i just simply put these adapters on there and over here is a 25 foot xlr cable here is a female xlr to trs now for monitoring video i have an ipad mini right there with a charge cable to keep that alive as well because my phone is generally away from me sometimes so i can't read it from you know several feet away and for monitoring audio i just simply use a pair of headphones now i did uh, take off the adapter so the ddj allows you both quarter inch and 3.5 millimeter connection to monitor and since the ipad mini has a 3.5 millimeter i'm just going to monitor that way now to keep the video stable i have a couple of different stands here here's a joby with the cell phone mount and not only can you mount this horizontally but it allows you to turn it so you can mount your phone vertically so this is a good stand, very convenient for those small spaces and areas. And the big stand right here, this is the one for when, say I wanna get the whole entire garage door here behind me in the shot, then I won't use this sitting on the ground or a chair or something. I'll just simply use a full tripod. I can get this up to the right level and get the shot that I really want. One other quick thing I wanna mention is Velcro straps. Y'all know that I'm notorious for using these. They help secure cables to stands and stuff like that to help everything look neat. And of course, when I build a harness for my setup here, I want my cables to be together for video aesthetics. Let's get everything all set up. Right now I have everything physically where I want it. We're gonna talk about every connection that I make from the audio to the power. And we're gonna also go through the process of setting up the phone for Facebook Live and of course the monitoring system back there. Then we'll get into game structure and actually go live. Hit the like button. All right, everybody, so there's the phone. I got the power in the side of it right there as well as the iRig. Now the cables are secure to the pole and there is a power brick for the phone also secure as well. So we don't want anything coming loose. During the stream, here are two cables, one audio and one power. The power cable is making its way all the way back there to the power strip. And there is a break in the system right there on the ground. So I'm gonna go up there and get you a close up. So here at the base of this table leg, we got a power cable for the phone. We also have a power cable for the DDJ. And right here is an audio cable that's going towards the phone as well. We're gonna plug into the DDJ. And in this part of the setup, we got a couple of XLR cables coming out. So normally when I'm DJing with speakers, this is XLR left and right out to the speakers, of course, with some cables. And there's the power cable. Now here in the DDJ, I mentioned already that it is a quarter inch and a 3.5 millimeter to monitor music directly from the DDJ when I'm mixing. Here's the laptop, no Serato powered up just yet. And here's the iPad mini. So the power cable for it is in there running through and is plugged into the X drive on the side of the MacBook. 
Here's the QLXD receiver right here. The body pack is on my hip at the moment and the lapel microphone is mounted right here on my body. Okay, everybody, so you are not confused in case you saw that earlier. I have on two lapel microphones. The one on the bottom here is the one that I will be using to stream through the DDJ to Facebook Live. And the one up top here is the one I'm wearing to record this video. Hit the like button. Time to get it moving. We're first gonna plug in the power connections which are only two at the moment. So there's that one and the one for the DDJ. As far as everything in the case right here, there's a power strip there. So there's always power readily available for the MacBook and the microphone receiver. What I did was use this cable to get power from the MacBook. So that's how the iPad mini squared away. And the DDJ is always plugged into the power strip through the power brick right there. And just to recap, power run for the phone is plugged in right there into the power strip. There's an extension cable that's running right there up the leg and into a power brick, which also goes right into the phone. Next, we're gonna talk about everything audio to monitor from the DDJ is the headphones right here. And once I set up the phone for Facebook Live, I always do a test stream. So to monitor to make sure Facebook is sounding the way it's supposed to, I just simply take this out of here plug it into my iPad right there, take a quick listen with some music and I speak through my lapel microphone here and just make sure it's good. If that is satisfied, I then put this back into the DDJ and I make sure the volume here is turned all the way down so I don't have like feedback coming from here through Facebook Live and back out. It would just be all confusing. These two XLR cables are plugged into the back of the DDJ out left and right. So this is generally what I connect to with my speakers when I'm normally DJing in public. But for this purposes, I'm only gonna use one of these. So I'm gonna tuck one away and the other one is just simply gonna be plugged in from the cable I had on the ground there. And this is how I'm getting audio to the phone. So XLR to XLR right there. And we're gonna now go over to the brake and the cable and plug that in. So the break in the audio chain right here is the XLR cable that comes from the DDJ. This side goes to the iRig. We got our audio brake connected. It just simply travels towards the stand here and goes right into the iRig. Now where the guitar symbol is, is where we plug it. So don't be confused with the one on top. And this is a TRS connection as mentioned before. So just simply plug it in right there. The iRig does have a TRRS input because again, we are plugging this into a phone. Now as for gain structure, you gotta first get it correct back there at the DDJ before you get it right here. So get your green is clean or your good gain back there at the DDJ and then start a Facebook Live and then get your gain structure there so you can make sure you have good audio going through. Okay, everybody, next we're gonna deal with the phone settings. Now, this is important because you don't want anybody to call you during a live stream. So put your phone in do not disturb mode. Now, for me with the iPhone 6, I'm just simply gonna swipe it up there and there's my do not disturb pressed. It's lit, so I'm good to go. Now, any phone calls will go straight to my voicemail. And on the Facebook live settings, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Facebook, hit the live button. And now, once you hit the live button, you could stream in portrait mode or you can stream in landscape mode. I recommend landscape. Now I'm gonna be using the camera that's on the screen side. So the selfie camera, if you wanna call it that. And because I may potentially have wording or something like that read to the viewers, I wanna make sure that the viewer is reading it correctly and not backwards. So the way to accomplish that is go into the bottom right corner, press the wand button. The screen's gonna change then in the right corner there's a tools button, so press that. And then over in the left side, you got three boxes. These are for flipping your camera's orientation. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit the flip screen button right there. That. So let's X out, and then we simply go Facebook Live. But before we do that, let's mount this to the stand. So I am set up for Facebook Live. And the other thing I like to do is pop up a title. So I'll call this one Test Vid for short. Boom, and hit uh, done. So I now have a title. All right, let's now go to the iPad settings. Some things I wanna do on my iPad is one, make sure my brightness is full so that I can see the stream. I'm also gonna put my iPad and do not disturb 
Uh, that way I don't have anything weird going on there. We're gonna open up Facebook Live here and I'm not gonna press the live button here. What I'm simply gonna do is go to my profile. So once I start streaming over there and scroll up here, I will then see a live stream happening here. So this is one I done the other night. So let's go ahead and set up a new one, refresh, and then you'll see the stream. So the test video, it started there. So now what I'm gonna do is go down to the three bars on the bottom, refresh by hitting my profile right there. We're gonna scroll up and there is the test video. So the next step in the process is to start here with my gain structure. So I'm gonna play some music, talk on the lapel mic that is going into the DDJ and balance the two and also check my levels. So here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm satisfied with what is going on here on the board. Now I'm going to monitor what's happening on Facebook Live. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to take a quick break here. These particles you're looking at is lint. There were actually a few more pieces. Maybe the wind took it away from here. But I noticed I was getting not so great audio from the stream. And sometimes when I move the iRig, I would then get good audio. So it really was hit or miss for a little bit during the test. But what I wanted to bring to your attention is sometimes uh, I put my phone in my pocket in lint can get in here so that's what those pieces were so I'm just kind of uh, carefully uh, going in there and moving things around hopefully uh, that solves the problem and I don't have any more issues in that regards but let's go and hook it back up and see what happens be mindful that if you are getting poor audio after everything is hooked up it might just simply be because you have lint in your headphone jack all right party people thanks for hanging in there with me so far now before we get into the next way to stream I just want to talk briefly about what's going on here at the moment. So I have headphones into the DDJ. That way I get a direct mix right into my ears. I can stay on beat and all that good stuff. I have an XLR cable out going into another XLR to TS cable into the iRig and the iRig goes right into the phone. I've already set up do not disturb on the phone and on the iPad as well as in Facebook Live getting my front facing camera properly orientated so that if I have any wording or a poster that it's able to read correctly from the viewer's standpoint. Hit the like button. Now I'm going to show you guys how to stream to Facebook Live if I were using speakers and I needed to get audio to Facebook Live. So obviously my XLR outs which are on the front of the DDJ right now. So that's what these cables are. When I normally DJ, I let that hang on the other side so I don't have to keep fighting with this when I'm setting up. But at the moment, one of these two are being used to stream through the iRig to Facebook Live. So if I needed to use these for say my left and right speakers, then I would use the booth output to stream to Facebook Live. So to make that happen is I simply take my Y cable here that I talked about. There's a right side and a left side right there. And then here's that one cable I showed you guys. So one of them is going to go into the stereo. And remember, it's all balanced. So TRS on TRS. And of course, this being stereo is TRS inside here. And this other end is going to go right into the iRig. At the moment, the TRS cable from the XLR on the front of the DDJ is plugged in. I just unplugged it. So what I'm doing now is coming from my booth output here with this cable. And I'm going to replace it into the iRig. So now what this setup does is allow me to booth out right into Facebook Live on my phone while also allowing me two XLR cable outs to a left and a right speaker. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go right back to live streaming directly from the XLR outputs and I'm going to put the booth equipment away because I'm done with that for the moment. So that's it. Other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying the video here at G5 Productions. We appreciate you subscribing to our channel, turning on the notifications, and of course, as always, please smash that like button. I'm Gerald with G5 Productions, DJ Sound and Lighting. You guys keep the party going live. Let's get it.